Good afternoon friends and welcome back again. We have started with numericals for single span beam with variety of problems. Today we shall see one more variety, a fixed beam which is subjected to UDL for half span of the beam. Okay, so let us draw the diagram first. A fixed beam. We shall assume that span of the beam is L and from end A UDL is on half span. Okay. And for this beam we have to carry out plastic analysis. Okay. <coughs> For different variety of problems, we may have different approaches. So here, slightly different approach is there for this concept is same virtual work energy principle. Now in this beam, we do not know what is the exact location of maximum bending moment because <clears throat> under maximum bending moment, plastic hinge will be formed. Apart from that, in this beam there are two more locations that is fixed ends so there are three locations of plastic hinges one is at A second is at B third is somewhere between A and this UDL so we shall say this is point C <coughs> so between AC somewhere is the location of plastic hinge so we will first of all locate that plastic hinge between A and C. So for this we will first of all remove fixity of the supports and we will consider this beam as simply supported beam. Okay. Simply supported beam subjected to UDL for half span W. <clears throat> and we will find out how much is reaction at support A. So we take summation of moment about B and write down what is the equation for moment. So Ra into L minus W L by 2. So W into this length L by 2. So this equivalent point load is here. Now it is acting at what distance from B? We will find out. This is half of L by 2. So this is L by 4. So this remaining distance from support B is total L minus L by 4. So this is 3 L by 4. Okay. <coughs> so this W L by 2 into 3 L by 4 is equal to 0. So from this we will get Ra reaction on support A <coughs> as take this right hand take this term on right hand side so this will become 3 WL square upon 8 correct take this L on right hand side it will go to denominator so this is 3 by 8 WL so this reaction is 3 by 8 times WL. <coughs> okay. Now we want location of plastic hinge. We will assume that maximum moment is somewhere between AC. So free bending moment. Free bending moment is you assume section at a distance x so r a into x or 3 by 8 w l into x minus w x square by 2 is equal to 0 
so now you differentiate this with respect to x so that you will get maximum moment value so d by dx of bending moment free bending moment is equal to 0 equate this to 0 ok so 3 by 8 into wl is derivative of first term minus w by 2 is constant <coughs> into x square derivative of x square is 2x ok so this will give us x so this w is common this 2 gets cancelled so x is 3 by 8 L okay x is equal to 3 by 8 times L <coughs> so net moment will be there will be some moment at x is equal to 3 by 8 times L that will be we shall assume MP so from MP we have to deduct moment due to external load and that will be our net value so m is equal to final moment is equal to what is moment at x 3 by 8 w l x minus w x square by 2 minus mp ok so now we have got location of maximum bending moment where third hinge will be formed now we will draw the deformed shape or this beam so this is our location of maximum bending moment so this is how much is the distance 3 by 8 L <coughs> so how much is this remaining L minus 3 by 8 L total L minus 3 by 8 times L so how much is total or net value 8 L minus 3 L so 5 L <coughs> upon 8 and our loading is up to half of L which is more than this 3 by 8 L ok so we shall assume this is the distance half of L or L by 2 <coughs> L by 2 now since this deformation or the point is not exactly at the center of the beam hence these rotations are different so we shall assume this rotation as theta 1 this as theta 2 this deformation we shall assume delta 1 this deformation we shall assume delta 2 delta 2 will also be required ok we will form the relationships between delta 1 delta 2 in terms of theta 1 and theta 2 we will bring all these relationships in only one either theta 1 or theta 2 so this right angle triangle delta 1 theta 1 and this 3 by 8 L so from this theta 1 is equal to delta 1 divided by 3 upon 8 L so how much is delta 1 from this 3 upon 8 times theta 1 into L another triangle 
डेल्टा वन रिमेनिंग साइड फाइव एल अपॉन एट रोटेशन इज थीटा टू सो थीटा टू इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वन डिवाइडेड बाय दिस साइड फाइव एल अपॉन एट सो फ्रॉम दिस डेल्टा इज डेल्टा वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय एट थीटा टू एल सो इक्वेट बोथ डेल्टा वन वैल्यूज सो थ्री बाय एट टाइम्स थीटा वन एल इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय एट टाइम्स थीटा टू एल सो एल गेट्स कैंसल फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड्स सो वी विल ब्रिंग थीटा टू इन टर्म्स ऑफ थीटा वन सो थीटा टू इज इक्वल टू यू ब्रिंग दिस फाइव बाय एट हियर इट विल बी कम एट बाय फाइव इन टू थ्री बाय एट टाइम्स थीटा वन करेक्ट सो दिस एट गेट्स कैंसल सो थीटा टू इज थ्री बाय फाइव टाइम्स थीटा वन सो दिस इज य now delta 2 you again see this smaller triangle <coughs> so from this theta 2 is equal to delta 2 divided by how much is this side total is l from this you did up this l by 2 so this is remaining l by 2 okay from this delta 2 is equal to theta <coughs> two into l by two. How much is theta two? Three by five times theta one. So we bring delta two also in terms of theta one. So theta two is three by five. Theta one. Okay, this is theta two multiplied by l by two. so delta 2 is 3 by 10 theta 1 into l now all these values will be required okay now i will rub this now we will go for our virtual work energy principle Back to our routine. So internal work done. For that, show moments. Here is MP. This is theta one. This is another MP. This is theta two. Here is MP, and here is also one MP because this end is also fixed. So on fixed ends we have. plastic hinges one is here second is here and third is on maximum bending moment okay so three hinge locations so how many mp into theta values internal work done that is mp into theta 1 mp into theta 1 this is two times And so is m p into theta two two times. Now convert this theta two in terms of theta one here. Use this relationship. So two m p theta one plus two m p. What is theta two? Three by five times. Theta one. Club together these two terms now. So two m p theta one is common. So inside the bracket one plus three by five. So how much is this? This is five plus three eight eight by five. So eight by five into two. Eight by five into two is sixteen by five. Sixteen by five. M P theta one. Okay. 
So either you divide this 16 by 5 or you may keep it as it is. We shall see what will be simple at a later stage. Now external work done. <coughs> what is external work done? Load into area under the load. So see how much is the area under the load. So this area is not regular area. This is an irregular area. So what we will do is we will use a simple trick. We will subtract this small area from the complete area. Okay. So load intensity into area under the loading is total area. How much is total area? Half L into delta 1. From this we will subtract the smaller triangle. How much is this? Half base. Base is L by 2. Please remember. Base is L by 2. Height is delta 2. Okay. This simple trick. That is why we needed delta 2 in terms of theta 1. Delta 1 is also there in terms of theta 1. So we will substitute. So W this half L we will take common so L by 2 is common so W L by 2 into delta 1 is 3 by 8 theta 1 L minus 1 by 2 delta 2 what is delta 2? 3 by 10 theta 1 L. Correct? <coughs> now we will simplify this. 3 by 8 minus 3 by 20. Again we will take this L outside. And theta 1 also outside. So WL square by 2 into theta 1 into 3 by 8 minus 3 by 20. So 60 minus 24 upon 160. 10 into 2 into 8. So this will be WL square by 2 theta 1 into 60 minus 24 is 36. So 36 upon 160. Now I shall rub this. Okay, this is not needed now. Now equate external work done and internal work done. What is external work done? WL square by 2 theta 1 into 36 upon 160 and internal work done is 16 by 5 MP theta 1 so theta 1 gets cancelled so w is this l square by 2 goes on right hand side so first this is 16 by 5 into this 160 upon 36 into mp into 2 upon L square. Now simplify this. This is 18. So now if you simplify this, what you will get is 28.44 MP upon 
L square. Okay. It was a little bit lengthy problem, but easy approach. If you like this problem and video, do comment and let me know what are your views about this channel. Thank you.